I wanted to go over some fo problems folks are having since this latest update in uh, September uh, 2015 with Design Space when uploading SVG files. Uh, there's two, probably two separate issues going on. One is there are many SVG files that simply have problems and will not upload. This was true before the update and it's true after the update. So first you have to make sure your SVG file is not a problematic SVG. I had someone send me some SVG files they were having problems with and when I looked at them they were tracing their JPEG file but they had not deleted the JPEG file from the SVG file before they saved it. So that is a problematic SVG. It will not upload. That It will not work. Uh, if you create text and you don't convert it to a path, when you import it, it will, uh, it, previous to the update, it would just simply not show up, show the text, and now it will actually tell you an intelligent message that says it contains text elements or something like that uh, to let you know that it contains things it doesn't support. However, it appears there are some elements that uh, are creating some issues that aren't really in the SVG files but are uh, present there, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I had one user send me an SVG file, and I'll attempt to upload it and show you what happens. So when you try to import this SVG file, it gives the message, the uploaded SVG file contains the following items that are not supported. Pattern fills. So uh, that will not import into Design Space. When I look at the SVG file in Inkscape, it looks fine. I can go to View, Display Mode, Outline, the paths are there, they're correct. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any problems. And uh, when I look at each of the elements with the fill uh, panel turned on, I can ungroup it and look at all of my elements, and none of them have a pattern fill. So I uh, couldn't figure out why this was happening. So I was able to copy paste, highlight all of this, and copy paste it into a new Inkscape file and save it, and it worked fine. So I decided to open the SVG file and look at the contents. And when I open it in Notepad, uh, an SVG file, a lot of you don't may not know this, but it's just code. It's a lot of coordinates and things that tell the uh, software how to draw the file. And it's not an actual image file like a JPEG or a PNG file. So this section of data here at the top define patterns that aren't really in the file, but it, um, I guess it kind of abandons the tags there. So I did some testing with Inkscape, and with... Uh, a brand new file. I created some text, saved it, it worked fine. I uh, created a new file, created text. I turned on pattern fill and then turned it back off again and saved it, and it left the tags. They were just kind of abandoned in here, and Design Space filters out those tags now, apparently. Um, now, before this, I don't know what would have happened. I've, I've never encountered this problem, and I know a lot of people are having this issue importing uh, files, and they don't want to import. Uh, so the first thing is to check to make sure you don't have a problematic SVG file. The second uh, is that it could have some abandoned tags that are getting filtered out like this. Now I've sent this on to uh, Cricut Technical Support and we'll get their comments and see what they uh, have to say about it. Uh, that you know, With these controls that they implemented, perhaps they're too stringent. I don't know. Uh, perhaps there's a reason they uh, are filtering these out now. But uh, we may go through some, you know, different iterations of this and, and see if uh, maybe certain tags they can ignore rather than blocking them versus others like uh, text elements they may want to absolutely block uh, to prevent them from coming in. I don't know, have the answer to that. Again, I forwarded it on to Cricut Technical Support and uh, we'll see if they uh, have anything to say about that. But I did want to make everyone aware of this issue that we've encountered that uh, seems to be giving some people fits. And so just a reminder, one issue is problematic SVGs. There are a lot of them out there, a lot of them in the Facebook groups. Those files are not vetted. So just because you downloaded it from a Facebook group for Cricut doesn't mean it's a good file. It can still have problems. And the second is that your file may have something in it that's causing it to be filtered out now uh, since the update that may not have filtered out before. Uh, it may have just been ignored rather than filtered. Uh, that's the best description I can give on it. And again, we'll see what Cricut Support uh, has to say about it. And uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully this has been helpful to you. If my video has been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, be sure to click the little gear and check this box so that you'll receive an email notification when I upload a new video.
You can also help support my channel by making a small donation on patreon.com slash Troy Young.